Hi, hi everybody. It's me, Tess, with Tess Loves This Yarn. That was my daughter, who has kind of been running around here grabbing things that I have forgotten. So, I am making this short little video because I wanted to show you this. Um, on the, I believe it was my last video, I opened a package that was uh, mailed to me by Creations from Jax, which was actually a gift from dear sweet Steven, um, who I always want to call him Steven, and I think he really prefers to go by Steve. But um, yes, this was a gift from Steve, and it's this yarn right here which actually came to me uh, looking like this. And I have uh, gotten out my, y'all, words are hard tonight. I have gotten out my thingamajig. <laughs> And I have wound it into a cake. <laughs> what is this? This is my... Mm, it is my Swift. It's my Swift. And I'm going to show you. This is my Swift right here. So, yeah. That's my Swift. And I have my little ball winder, my trusty little ball winder, uh, right here. As you can see, there it is. And I am winding up this yarn because I have decided on what to make for it. And by the way, if y'all haven't noticed, I'm in my comfy red cardinal pajamas. Yes, I am. And um, I am very comfortable right now. And I hope that wherever you are, you are very comfortable as well. Okay? So, we are not going to get all uppity about being in our jammies. Because here in the Midwest, it is rainy, rainy, and cold. Which I guess we should be happy that it's not cold and snowing right? But it is still really cold. And we are literally hovering just above freezing. So, um, yeah, lucky for us, right? Because otherwise, we'd have a whole bunch of ice out there, which would not be good. Yeah. So, you guys, I have decided upon what I am going to make with this. I am making fingerless mitts, and if I have enough yarn left over, I will make a hat to go with my fingerless mitts. If I don't have enough for a hat, then I will make some ear warmers, which is like a band that will go around and come underneath here and keep my ears warm. Mm. Yeah, for those days when Thor wants to go outside and doesn't want to come back in when I call him. Yeah, because he does that. Y'all know this. He does that. So, I am um, undoing my yarn here. And I don't know if all of you are familiar with how to use a Swift or not. Um, and there are many different kinds of swifts. Um, some of them will sit horizontally like this on a, on a table or on, the, on any flat surface. And some of them sit vertically. And you can like put them, um, attach them to the back of a chair or something, you know, anywhere like that. Um, I prefer the one, <laughs> obviously I prefer the one I have. It's um, an Amish Swift. It's made
made of wood and you guys kind of just saw that uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put this on my um, I'm gonna put it on my Swift and I hope that you do not hold it against me that my kitchen is slightly messy um, but let me see I'm gonna get this all on here so what you do is you just take your hank and unknot it and just kind of put it loosely on your swift like so and uh, what I always make sure is that my yarn is all going in the right direction so what I mean is that the top of this is also the top over here and not twisted or anything like that because if you get your yarn lined up correctly then it will wind up into your cake very nicely and when I say very nicely I mean very nicely so I just thought since I was sitting here doing it I thought I should show you guys this now I think that I did make a video a long time ago using my Swift um, but I'm not really sure how much I actually explained it or showed it to everybody so I thought I'd maybe go or try to go into a little more detail here this yarn you guys it's a hundred percent acrylic and I'll tell you what it is cloud soft I mean when I say cloud soft I mean it is cloud soft um, yeah I have never uh, had any acrylic yarn in my life <laughs> that was this soft it's just crazy so um, kudos to this yarn is by crochet in agreement and the colorway is believed by Petra so yeah I am going to um, get this started now what I've done right here is you'll see how the two ends are tied together so the only thing you have to do with that is untie them or usually they're in a knot and I just cut the knot now some people sit there and they they untie them but they have more patience than I do I don't have enough patience for that so what I'll do is I'll get the bottom end out and then I like to just kind of pull it aside and I just kind of drape it over one of the arms and believe it or not this usually works for me so yeah and then I'll grab the other part and I'll kind of give it a test to see if it's going to let me uh, use that end and I don't you know what I don't think this one is going to so of course this one is going to give me problems when I just did the other one <laughs> perfectly without issue oh there we go okay I've got it all right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on my ball winder, which is right here. You guys, uh, this is a ball winder from Knit Picks, and you just, you're just going to put it in and put it around, whoops, like so, and ugh. I'm sorry I am having issues tonight you guys um so it has two little slots in the top 
and you just put your yarn through there like so and then I'm kind of going to kind of push my swift away a little bit and then I'm going to see if I can get this kind of all in the picture somewhat. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to see if this will work, okay? All right. And you just put a little bit of tension on that yarn and just start winding. And this is what, this is exactly how I do it. And you keep winding until all of your yarn is gone. There's 126 yards of this yarn and hopefully it will just continue to do this until we are all done and I tend to kind of get my yarn going pretty quick and I think it's because I want to hurry up and get it over with <laughs> because it makes me nervous because I don't want it to mess up and if y'all want do this and take up your um, hanks, or if you purchase yarn in hanks, you'll know what I'm talking about. Every once in a while, it'll mess up, and sometimes it can be crazy hard to get it fixed, right? So I'm usually pretty darn lucky that I don't have issues. And there we go. Okay, so as you can tell, I did not have any issues. <laughs> and so uh, here is my yarn, beautifully caked. And I'm going to make try to grab this camera a little over. So you can see it's beautifully caked right here. Look at this, Steve. Beautifully caked. And then what I do... I usually try to save my paper towel holders. Um, I mean, not the holders, but the cardboard tubes that the paper towel comes on. And then I use those to put through the middle of the cake. But um, right now I don't have any. So I'm just going to take some paper. This is just inexpensive printer paper. And I'm just going to fold it up like this and then uh, fold it in half and then I just kind of crease it just a little bit like this and I can take this now and slip my yarn out and onto this and here we go everybody beautifully caked yarn which I am going to have a lot of fun with I'm trying to get my camera back over here <laughs> and um yeah so I am super excited to be working with this super soft yarn because I really wanted to make myself something which I have not done yet this year well i mean this year is only january it's only january but in the last 12 months i have not made anything for myself and so i am going to use this beautiful beautiful yarn that um steve so caring and generously gifted to me and i'm going to make myself something so thank you steve honey i'm giving you a little hug Ooh, hug right over the computer thank you for thinking of me you know i really really appreciate you so much and i appreciate all of you so much and i hope you're having an awesome amazing day wherever you are and uh, you guys i know this is kind of short but um i can't wait to get started on this project so I'm going to go and I'm going to start on my fingerless mitts and I think the next video I'll be wearing those fingerless mitts and I'll show them to you, okay? So, as always, be kind, 
and be safe out there in the world, no matter where you are. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Bye.